let's talk about training wheels. Now, I think all of us know what training wheels are, and we know we had them when we were children, but did you ever think you might need them as an adult? Well, as odd as that sounds, let me explain, and by the time I'm finished, you might agree with me that, yeah, I need some training wheels. Three years ago, at this exact time, in April 2014, I was in the midst of a full-blown clinical depression. And preceding that, I had lived my life, my whole life, very, very fast-paced. I constantly pushed past my limitations. I didn't even recognize my limitations. I just went and went and went without any real care for myself. And so I found out as I went through my depression and I received counseling and the Lord brought me healing that uh, these things matter. I learned the importance of physical, mental, and spiritual self-care. And that's what Living Hope, this ministry, is all about. But um, I learned that sleep is very important. Sleep is very necessary. And I need seven to eight hours every night so that I function well, I feel well. I, um, I learned the importance of diet, to eat three meals a day, um, sit down and eat them, not running, not doing, but eating meals in a healthy, uh, a healthy way. I learned the importance of exercise and that that keeps me strong mentally and physically and even and spiritually and I need to keep daily exercise in my life. And then I need to spend time with the Lord. You know, and for me that's in the morning, but I need to sit down and take all the time necessary to worship and to study in my Bible and to pray and spend time with God. And I also need to monitor my schedule. You know, I learned that there's such a thing as saying no. There is such a thing as doing too much. And I had to learn what is a healthy balance for me and my schedule and how much I do. So my pace of life has really slowed down. In the last three years, I have been far more peaceful and calm and content. Now, the last several weeks, months or so, I have been struggling. I have been really tempted to go back to the way I was living. I've been tempted to maybe um, when I'm eating my lunch or my breakfast to be multitasking at the same time, maybe to be standing up in my kitchen and, and doing dishes or whatever at the same time. I've been struggling with the temptation to uh, sleep less, to go to bed later or get up earlier, to squeeze more hours out of my day to do more. Um, you know, I've been tempted not to go to the gym and do the exercise that I need to do. And so I've even been tempted to shortchange my time with God. See, I have a beaver personality, which means, as you can imagine, that I'm very task-oriented, I'm very work-oriented, and I'm always wanting to do, do, do. You know, like that little beaver, just chomp, 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 chomp all the time. And so that makes me prone to wanting to default back, you know, to these old ways. And I question. Am I right? Am I wrong? I mean, what's the right way here? You know, because I don't have all the answers. I'm going through this life just like all of you, you know, figuring it out as I go. And so then I think to myself, okay, what does God expect? Does he expect me to be doing, doing, doing all the time? Or does he expect me to be being? Again, you know, it's a balance. And I don't have all the answers. But what I can do so that I know I'm making the right choices, is to allow God to examine my heart, examine my thoughts, you know, my mind, my motives, and find out, you know, are there any misalignments? I also can listen, because when I've been tempted, you know, the Spirit prompts me, like, no, Candy, sit down and eat your breakfast. Sit down and eat your dinner. Go to bed when you need to go to bed. Sleep as long as you need to sleep. You know, all these different things that I've been tempted with. When I'm sitting in my chair having my prayer and Bible study and worship time and I'm wanting to jump out and go, 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 you know, do the things I know I need to do, you know, the Spirit prompts me like, oh, don't 
don't do that. Stay here with me. And so that's what I can do. I can allow the Lord to examine my heart. I can listen to him when the Holy Spirit prompts me. And when I hear those things, then just say, okay, yes, Lord, you know, be obedient and keep going forward as I've been and not default back to who I was and how I used to live and that fed into falling into that clinical depression. And so I've discovered I still need training wheels. I thought I had it, thought I had it all under control, thought, oh man, I'm going to live this good, healthy life the rest of my life, no problem. Nope, I get tempted. And so I need those training wheels. And just like um, a child when they're learning how to ride a bike, you know, they need those extra little wheels to keep them steady, keep them moving forward, not falling over and crashing, not going backward and getting hurt, but to keep going forward. And so that's what training wheels are. So let this work in you. You know, think about your life. You know, what are the areas that maybe you struggle with? What are the areas maybe you need those training wheels to be on? I hope it helps. I hope it helps. I've just been honest and I've shared what I've been going through, so I hope this is a blessing and helpful to one of you. My name is Candy Rice. I am the author of He Enriched My Life by the Death I Suffered, Learning to Trust God Through Depression, and I am the founder of Living Hope. And my ministry is teaching the mental and physical and spiritual healing truths that the Lord taught me through the healing of my depression and continues to teach me as I go through this life day by day. If you would like me to come share the message of Living Hope at your church or your meeting or your conference, feel free to contact me through my website, Living Hope. The address is candyrice.org or you can reach me through my Living Hope page on Facebook and you can give me a private message. So be blessed today. Uh, think about training wheels and where you might need them in your life.